know the exact sort of prompt that you need, but you just don't know the right words to use. They could be prompts for writing, SEO, AI images, content creation, anything. But my question to you is, do you ever feel lost trying to figure out exactly what prompt that you need to use for your specific need? Well, today you're definitely in the right place because I'm gonna show you what prompts to use. You'll never need prompts again. And those prompts I'll be sharing today are gonna be powerful prompt generators. It's gonna be like having your own personal prompt engineer at your disposal. These will basically generate prompts for anything that you need, AKA prompts that generate prompts. These will generate prompts for anything that you need. In other words, I'll show you how to turn ChatGPT into a prompt engineering machine. Let me give you a quick example. If we head over to my new mega prompts prompt generators database. To get the most amazing prompts databases, click the links in the description. You can see all of these amazing prompt generators. And like I said, these are prompts that generate prompts. So this look right here are gonna be prompts that are called anything engineers. It creates prompts essentially for any specific need that you may have. There's different views, so I can view them in these Kaban view boards. And then they could also all be grouped. But today I'm showing you my favorite and these are gonna be the anything prompts. Prompts that can create prompts for anything that you need. So all you would do is come in here, okay? And then you would open one up and then just copy and paste this whole entire prompt right here that you see on your screen. If I expand it, here is one of the ones we're looking at today because like I said, it's gonna give you every prompt for every category imaginable. And so today specifically, the prompts I'll be sharing with you are gonna be what I like to call hero prompts. That's because they can come in and save the day to help you create anything for any need that you may have. So let me first show you how exactly this is gonna work. And so this actual prompt that you see right here is one of the ones I'll be sharing with you today. And now make sure you do check the links in the description because every prompt I'm sharing today, I will also include in the description so you can use them yourself completely for free. So like I said, first come in here and then just copy the whole entire thing. And now we're in chat GPT. I'll also use Claude as well. That way we can compare the results, but they're gonna give you both similar and very good ones. So again, come in here and paste the whole entire prompt in here, just like this, okay? That is all you have to do. Then from there, we're gonna let chat GPT guide us and direct our path. That way we'll never feel lost again when trying to craft the perfect prompt. And then instantly you can see just like that, look what it says. Great, what would you like the prompt to be about? Now remember, I know I do a lot of prompts about AI images, it could be used for that, but let's try something different this time. I know sometimes people need prompts for creative writing. Let's go ahead and then try that. In fact, we're going to try it in both. While that's over there, I'm going to also paste this into Claude, okay? So we'll have two LLMs going at the same time, okay? Back to chat GPT, let's just simply say at the very bottom, creative writing, okay? Simple. That's my need. I just need some prompts for creative writing, okay? Go ahead and hit that send button and look what it says. Here's our first iteration revised prompt. That's all you have to do. Generate a detailed creative writing prompt designed to inspire a unique short story. But this is what I love about this prompt. This is where it's gonna take off and get so interesting. Now, before we go ahead and answer these very important questions, let's come over here to Claude now and then do the same exact thing, okay? Claude says, okay, what would you like the prompt to be about? So right here, I put creating cinematic AI images. Let's go ahead and hit a comma and also say realistic, just like this, okay? Thanks for sharing your goal. Here is the revised prompt. Simple, create a cinematic image with photorealistic quality, focus on dramatic lighting, depth of field, and professional composition, similar to high-end movie cinematography. Now, right off the bat, ChatGPT or Claude, they're gonna give you a simple prompt that you could use. It's gonna be effective, and now you have your prompt, but that's not the point. Let's go ahead and take it to another level and make the best out of this prompt by answering some of these questions. All right, so before we come back to Claude, let's first go back to ChatGPT and answer these. Like I said, we can come in here and start this prompt process off just with this prompt, okay? For an example, let me go ahead and do that, okay? Generate a detailed creative writing prompt. Let's just go ahead and copy that just to start to see what happens. Now I'll open up a completely new chat and now just paste that in. Again, this is gonna be the most basic one it gave us without answering any of the questions. And look at this. I mean, immediately it gives us everything we're wanting and it's gonna start creating that story specifically for the subject it gave us. And it's gonna go and go and go, the power of this one simple prompt that we got from this generator is gonna do a lot of work. But to really level up, watch this. Let's answer these questions. So number one, do you have a specific genre in mind? Let's do that. Let's say sci-fi, okay? Sci-fi, 
hit a comma, and now we're gonna say dark and suspenseful, okay? Number three, would you like the setting to be a specific time period or location? Let's just say futuristic. I'll type that in. And then number four, any particular character traits or relationships you like the characters to have. But look at this. Once I provide the answers to the first series of questions, now it's given me another revised prompt. And that's what you see exactly right here. Look, there's the next prompt. So there's the first basic one, but now this one does the same thing, but now it's gonna add my specific genre, my character traits, and my setting based on the questions I asked. Now again, you could keep going further and further and further by continuing to answer these questions right here. Now, once I paste this one in though, if I copy this and I went back, let's just paste it in, look at this, now, it's going to do the same thing, write the story, but this time, notice this, my opening scene, it's going to go and match my specific characteristics because now everything it's talking about fits perfectly with my futuristic, suspenseful characteristics and my character trait I first provided it. Remember, now this one was going to be specifically for AI images. And here we have this, okay, revised prompt. This is going to be the first generic one it gave me. And let's do that for an example. I'll copy this one in Claude and we'll hit the chat GPT with a fresh chat and paste that generic one in from Claude. Once I do, ChatGPT is just going to give me a very bland and basic prompt. It doesn't know my subject, but that's okay. It's still doing its job from a basic prompt. And look at this. There's the full prompt, but then it gives me this amazing settings explanation. It's given me the type of camera, the depth of field and lighting, and it does a perfect job. I love it. However, what happens now, again, in Claude, if I answer these questions from Claude. Now, once I hit enter here, now look what Claude does for me now. Beautiful job. Look at the prompt I got. The new revised prompt is perfect in everything I was wanting. It name drops James Cameron's cinematography name, okay? And then it gives me the deep shallow depths and all of the specific characteristics. However, this is where things can go to a whole nother level. I don't have a character in here, but that's where these questions come in so handy. Look at this. Now, number two says, should there be any specific characters or elements? Perfect. And look at this. Number four is an amazing question. I'm going to say avatars bioluminescence. Okay. I love that question specifically right here in number four. And then the other helpful thing, which I won't answer, is going to be number five as well. You can just see how detailed you can get based off these questions. So with this answer, let's go ahead and hit enter on this and then see what our final prompt can look like. Here it is. This is a good looking prompt. It's given me some amazing visual effects and the specific camera style, IMAX style to use. Okay, now moving on. Now we're not done quite yet because I have one more prompt I want to share with you. It's going to follow a similar pattern, but it is so simple, but extremely powerful. All right, so here we are and we're back over here in my prompt generators database. This is going to be the full prompt right here. Let's go ahead and copy this one. And then here is the important note. ChatGPT will then ask you a few questions as well. All right, so let's go ahead and now copy this whole entire thing just like that. And now let's go ahead and paste this one in right here. And then right off the bat, absolutely, Eric, let's start narrowing down what the prompt will be about with some questions to ensure we're aligned. Beautiful. This one's a little bit more detailed and let's go ahead and answer a few of these questions. Okay. So again, I won't bore you with these details, but this one's going to be for AI images. Just answer these questions and you're going to get some very similar prompts that are going to do an incredible job. Okay. Okay, let's come back over here and I want to show you actually one more bonus prompt. Now, this one is going to be one of my favorites because it's going to have two contestants, contestant A and contestant B, which will then have a competition to see who can generate the best prompt. Now, kudos to whoever created this prompt. Okay, so just take a look at this prompt right here. Let's go ahead and copy the whole entire thing just like this. Now, back into chat GPT, new chat once again. Now, watch this. Now, this is what is so impressive about this prompt. Create the best prompts through a competition between two contestants. It's gonna ask you what you want your prompt to be about, and then each contestant will generate one detailed prompt, okay? Then it's gonna ask if one prompt is better than the other, Ultimately, you're going to choose a winner. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit enter right here because I know it could get a little bit confusing. So let's just see how it goes in real time. Let's kick off this prompt off. 
What would you like the initial prompt to be about? Now remember, it could be used for anything, not just AI images, but for basically any need that you have. Let's do this in two different ways. Okay, so the first thing I'll say down here at the very bottom, I'll just say creating YouTube titles. There we have that, very simple. Now it's gonna start this process and go back and forth. Now remember, once this is going back and forth, let's head over to Claude and do the same exact thing. There it is right there. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna replace ChatGPT right here. All right, so I don't wanna hurt Claude's feelings. So there we have that. I removed chat GPT. Let's hit enter on this one. Okay. So in Claude, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Claude one for AI images. Whereas chat GPT, let's see how this is doing. We have this one creating YouTube titles for me. Here we have it on chat GPT. Fantastic. Let's dive into this challenge focused on YouTube title creation. Look at this. Now we have contestant A and contestant B. Here is the prompts between the two. Now let's see how chat GPT might respond to each contestant's prompt. This is pretty amazing. See, we have contestant A and contestant B, but then ChatGPT looks at both A and B and then crafts its own. So ChatGPT thinks there are two contestants. Now look at this. Response to contestant A's prompt. And then it says response to contestant B's prompt. That is amazing. So what you want to do is look at both of these and then determine which one you think is going to be better. Now, I don't really know, but for an example, let's just say that we think contestant A is better. Okay, check this out. Which prompt response do you feel captures the essence of the clickable YouTube title better? And I'm going to say contestant A. Then it says to refine each prompt, let's ask some key questions. What specific audience is the video aimed for? Do you prefer titles that lean more towards keyword optimization or those with a playful and engaging tone? Are there any specific topics or title structures you want to avoid, such as clickbait? There, now look at this. This is going to be incredible, okay? Thanks for the direction. Here we have this one. Contestant A's prompt precise. Now remember, even though we chose contestant A as our favorite, contestant B, they're still in the process. So they're still going to be creating prompts for you going back and forth. Basically, you can make this go all day until you say stop. And that's why I call this the hero prompt, because it's going to come in and save the day and give you prompts for every single thing imaginable. You can keep this going nonstop. I mean, I won't test this out in real time, but look at this amazing prompt structure we got from both A and B. Okay, beautiful. Now let's head over to Claude and see what we got. Now remember, on this one, we're going to focus on AI images. And then look at what I put down here at the bottom. Now the reason why I think this will be so helpful is because I said AI generated images for magazine photo shoot Vogue magazine. Well, it's going to know what kind of qualities a photo shoot in this Vogue magazine may have. So hopefully it provides prompts that will generate those style of images. And then here we have this one right here. This is going to be much longer. Okay, we have contestant images. A's prompt. Pretty cool. Okay. And then we have expected Claude's response right here. And then we're going to have contestant B's prompt. Okay. And then we're going to have Claude's response right here. Beautiful. Okay. But before we wrap this up, let's just answer these two questions. And I want you to see how much better that these prompts are going to actually turn out. Uh, I'm not really too knowledgeable about particular designers, but let's just go ahead and do a quick Google search. Most popular fashion designers and uh, beautiful. Let's go with Tom Ford. Okay. Just to see what happens with this one. And then we'll say that specifically Tom Ford. And then number three, what emotional response or story are you hoping to evoke in Vogue's readers with these images. Okay, these are going to be phenomenal. Look at the questions now. Should we incorporate any of Tom Ford's specific fall 2024 signature pieces of color beyond the velvet blazer? Interesting. Okay, let's just say yes to uh, all. And now we're going to get these prompts. Look at this right here. Now it's even more detailed and it's even giving me the, uh, the price. Look right here. Tom Ford's black velvet blazer with gold hardware, $4,900. Interesting. Blouse almost for 2000 Interesting. Oh, wow. Fantastic. These are incredibly impressive images. Kudos to these prompt generators for taking all of the legwork out for us. We'll never feel lost again trying to come up with the perfect prompt. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And remember, check the links in the description for tons of prompts and these amazing prompts databases. Thank you so much for watching.